Hey everyone and welcome back to Art a la Carte. In this episode I'm going to talk about something that um, you guys ask me a lot in the comment section and that's what do I do when um, I'm lacking inspiration or I'm kind of in that slump and I don't know what to draw? Um, what are some things that I do to help pull me out of that? There's a lot of different things that help kind of get, uh, fuel my inspiration, but if I need a really just fast kickstart of inspiration, I usually go for an art walk, which means I just go someplace with my sketchbook and go and draw. Um, and I don't always go to the same place. I have a couple places that I really enjoy going, but um, it doesn't have to be someplace special or extraordinary or like a really fancy museum or anything like that. You can find little treasures just around the neighborhood. Over a few different videos I'll be taking you with me. Um, whenever I go on my art walks um, I will try to remember to grab my camera so that you guys can see um, some of the places that I go. Uh, but last week we had a really nice sunshiny day and uh, no wind which is really not super common for the Oregon coast but this, um, this last January has been very mild temperatures and not a lot of rain. So I decided to make use of a sunshiny afternoon and went down to my local park. Now we don't have any fancy schmancy parks. Uh, I live in a really pretty tiny little town and um, when I first moved here I, I saw this park and it was very unassuming. You know, had the typical uh, baseball field and swings and slides and picnic tables and a pond with some ducks. Actually a lot of ducks. Um, and then I had a little walking path that walked around it. And when I actually went, I decided to go ahead and walk around, and that's when I found the treasure that was in my park. This beautiful gardens that had been created in the back of the park that just screams inspiration. I love going to these parks and these gardens and just sitting. Um, I often will take my camera with me along with my sketchbook. I find taking photographs really helps me through the rest of the times when I can't be at the park because I can look back and find those uh, pictures and then they, they help inspire me, if, especially if I'm trying to draw foresty things and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and show you some of the sights and sounds of this park. This is indeed one of my favorite places to come and draw and get inspiration from. It's quiet and secluded, but still there's a lot of life going on. There's lots of birds and animals, and especially love the light that flows through the trees. So yeah, this bamboo area is one of my favorites to go. So as you can see, there's a lot of little hiking trails and stuff like that. I do say if your area is not very safe though, take an art buddy with you. It's always fun to draw with a friend anyway and practice being safe. But let's go take a hike. I 
I love the sound of water, so anytime I can get next to a fountain or a little waterfall, that's always really, really fun. Uh, though a quick note, if you live in a place with mosquitoes, you might want to pack some bug spray so you're not um, bothered by pesky insects. <laughs> Let's go down this treacherous trail together. I don't think this was exactly the path I was supposed to take, but it was. This is a fantastic location. It's got the water, it's got some beautiful sights, reflections, trees, people, walking in the distance, animals. I love it. All right, so what happens when you find a scene that's so beautiful, but you just don't have the stuff to recreate that? Well, like I said, get your phone out, take a photo, and then you can take it home as a reference to use in a painting later. And while you're at it, might as well post it to your favorite social media. Hashtag art walk. This way other artists can get inspired as well. So as you can see, this park is really fun. It's not at its most beautiful. Um, that happens during the summer when all the trees are in full foliage and there's lots of flowers and prettiness. I'll throw up a couple photographs of the park then that I took last summer um, and show you some of the things that I saw there. So if you have a fun place in your town that's you know, really pretty to look at and inspires you. Um, send me a picture of that. Post it to my Facebook page or Instagram. I'd love to see what things inspire you around your neighborhood. And again, I just take these pictures with my cell phone. Um, sometimes I take my regular camera with me, but usually it's just my cell phone. So, and also, don't think that nature has to inspire you. That's just one of the things that always inspires me, to see um, organic things growing. Um, some people love to draw people, and so going to like the mall or um, a store or a cafe or something where there's a lot of different kinds of people and drawing those kind of people, that's just fuel for the inspiration. I'm working towards that. I, I want to try to get more... Um, people sketching abilities um, like that, but nature's what is my my draw. I love nature. Um, some people are totally enthralled with um, architecture, so they go to where there's bridges or beautiful buildings, and, and they like to draw that. So find what it is to you that when you see it, you think, ah, I want to draw that. Hopefully it's not zebras on the Serengeti, and you don't live near the Serengeti, and so then you only get to be inspired when you go on safari um, but maybe a, a, maybe there's a zoo nearby you can go and check that out well let me know if you enjoy traveling with me when I go on location to places um, uh, let me know in the comment section below or give me a thumbs up I did get to go to uh, an aquarium uh, a while ago and took a lot of videos and photographs with that if you'd like to see my trip to the aquarium um, let me know in the comment section below Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hopefully this encouraged you to find some places that will help inspire your artiness to art out. <laughs> Thanks guys again. Keep drawing. And until next time, God bless you guys. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. I think that's oh, look a up, look up. Ooh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>